What is up everybody? As you can tell, this is a completely different setup to what you're used to when you're watching my channel. Now, I'm gonna be doing some different videos, other things that I like to do, but at the same time, I'm still gonna do the prop things. Uh, deal with Evil Dead, I will still do updates with Power Glove, which I have coming very soon, and also some chainsaw related stuff. So, with that, let's check out the new intro real quick and then we'll get right into this. So what you're looking at right here is the JTS AK-12. Now, some people may know that I am an avid hunter and I do like to hunt, and I don't use this for hunting. This is mainly just for target shooting, just having fun at the range. And before I get start to go over all the modifications, I wanna talk about the reliability. Now, have I had problems with it? Yes, and there's a good reason for those problems. Now, and I've seen other people on YouTube in comments saying the problem that they have is kind of relative to what I have a problem with. Now, it all comes down to the load of the JTS. Now, this is an AK, it's basically an AK-47 built in a 12 gauge shotgun. So, with it not being the normal shotgun platform that you usually see, it's gonna be a little different, it's gonna be a little more finicky with what you feed it. You gotta remember when it comes to guns, or weapons of any sort that you shoot, if you feed it good ammo, it's like a human body. You feed it good stuff, you're gonna get a good result. You feed it just garbage, you're gonna have diarrhea. So the only problem I've ever had with this, with cycling and metal shavings, is using the Winchester Super X's with either the steel, or, and sometimes even their low, their low brass. What happens is the ejector is stripping the edges away and filling this full of metal shavings. So, what did I do? I cleaned it up and stopped using this crap. I know some people haven't had problems with it, but I've had problems with it, so I do not use these. The only low brass that I've used so far that's worked has been the Fiocchi low brass, like the seven, seven shot. Other than that, anything high brass uh, works very, very well. You always gotta remember, quality bullet, quality results. So if you're having a problem using crappy, crappy ammo, stop using crappy ammo. Instead of trying to adjust things in it to make it shoot crappy ammo, just stop using the crappy ammo and become a better buyer of ammunition. You gotta treat your guns like you treat the human body. You gotta have respect for it and feed it very, very good things. You just have to do that, that's a smart tip. Now let's go over the modifications. Now this is the JTS AK-12, I love it. Um, like I said, the only problems I have is just using that crap Winchester Super X ammo. And other than that, it's worked great. Uh, one modification that I've done, and if you saw in the close up is, I have this different muzzle brake on here. Now, JTS does make muzzle brakes that are wider. I didn't want the wide look. I did want the cheese grater look, but I wanted it to be that skinnier look. Uh, how it kind of looks like with the older guns and weapons that you saw back in the day. I know everybody now is all about having a gigantic, enormous muzzle brake, but I didn't want that. And I got this muzzle brake at Cabela's, and it's a Remington choke slash muzzle brake. That's what it takes. This one is the Kicks High Flyer. This is a uh, modified choke and a modified choke will shoot slugs. So if you're wondering about buckshot and slugs, it will shoot those. Another modification is the cheese grater top right here. Now, <clears throat> one of the best, best people on YouTube has the best information when it comes to modifications on the JTS AK-12 is Mod Max. If you watched his channel, he's that dude who wears the white mask. He's, his name is Tiny, Tiny Monkus. And if you haven't checked out Mod Max's channel on YouTube, 
after you watch this, check it out. If you have any information <clears throat> or any questions or want to modify it, he's your number one source. And he tells how you can get this uh, Palmetto Arms cheese grater, modify it, modify the dang thing to fit the JTS. And it doesn't really take much. Another thing that's modified is I actually retextured the back stock here because I want to match this piece right here and we'll get to that in a minute. Another thing Mod Max has done, he makes a rear sling holder. He sent me this the other day. And you just simply take the stock off, you just simply pop this up. If I can get to it. There we go. Take out the spring, get an Allen hit wrench, pull the stock off, pull the bolt out. Sandwich this in between, it actually fits perfectly. Screw it back down, put it on, and it's back together. And this is a single point sling. He sent me this and I actually really, really like it. And he does have a video if you want to do a single point here and a single point up here to have it, you know, up and over or under. He has a video on where to get that item to clamp on for that sling. But if you're looking to get the information on how to modify one of these palmetto arms, cheese grater top for the AK-47 with his back sling, hit up Mod Max. Another thing that he does as well is this piece right here. Now, if you have the AK-12, you'll notice where the mag fits in, it is quite long. And it's nice, it looks good, but what he sells is a brand new piece that's shortened down that will fit drums into it and will fit the original mags. I know somebody said one time, some guy on YouTube, he actually took his mag well and shortened it down, cut it down like Mod Max makes. And he's like, it rattles a bit back and forth. Well, of course, you know, you don't have that stabilizer. But does it affect the feeding and operating? No, not whatsoever. And it doesn't really wiggle that much, honestly. But the reason why I would go to Mod Max on YouTube and get one of these, they're only 30 bucks and uh, shipping is a uh, different deal if you serve in the military or if you're in the military it's free shipping and i, I don't know how far it extends that out but it's 30 dollars plus shipping amazing piece i like how wide it is if you can see how wide it is right here and why does he cut them down so you can buy the pro mag 20 round drum 12 gauge drum it will fit in there perfectly and that's why i got that piece so, you know, I got this Magwell on her even before I shot it for the first time. Just, just because I have the drum, I have the mags, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna wait to get it. And I bought it immediately from him. So, if you don't know his channel on YouTube, it's Mod Max. Does everything with the JTS AK-12. Amazing guy and makes really, really good stuff. So definitely hit him up. And he also does videos with different front grips, things like that. Now here's the elephant in the room is this front grip right here, this new piece. We all remember if you have the JTS AK-12, you have this ugly thing. And I don't like it, never liked it. And with it, with the drum, you know, having this on with the drum, it's not the most comfortable thing. So after a few beers and talking to a friend of mine, uh, Roger Allen Baker from Ultravec Studios, I said, you know, it'd be cool if we did a somewhat of a Tommy gun grip design so he's like all right let's do it so he came up with a design and this is the version two he did a version one that was a little too far back so getting the mags in and the drum was a problem so what he did is he brought it up a little further which actually lines up with the angle from with the back grip in the front now this is a 3d printed piece and I know Roger uses high scale 3D printers, things like that. And a lot of people make modifications for guns and weapons with the 3D printer, like grips, stocks, things like that. And so far it's very, very rigid. I haven't tested it out in the field yet. And knowing this specific weapon, how it, uh, this actually holds in, you got a little piece back here in the bottom part, a little tab it fits into, and then just simply locks in right here. I know I'm not gonna get a lot of <clears throat> damage going this way, shooting it, because if you know weapons and you know guns, that all the impact is at the stock. 
It's not at the front handle. The front handle, the front is a guide. It's not for impact. Impact's in the back. This is a guide. It's always a guide. Now, one question was uh, that somebody had was, uh, will it warp? Honestly, I'm not gonna get it that hot to warp it. Just saying. Um, I do want to get this in ABS plastic. I mean, this is just right underneath the strength of ABS plastic, honestly. Um, like I said, Roger Allen Baker from Ultra Vec Studios made this, and it just feels so good when you pick it up. I mean, look at that. It just, it looks great, and it feels normal. Uh, the other grip that you'll see on Mod Max's channel is he has a clamp piece here with like an AR style front grip. So you'd be out here like this, which is okay, but this feels way better. And I really, really like it. Uh, not sure when Roger's gonna actually start making them, but if you have questions, just go on Facebook and look up Ultra FX Studios. So the word Ultra, the letters FX and Studios, and ask him about the JTS front Tommy Gun grip that he makes. And it's only specific to the JTS AK-12. Not the AR-12, but the AK-12. And I am not a big fan of the AR-12s. Now, the only AR-12 I really like, and I think for the bang, your best bang for your buck, is the Panzer. I really like the Panzer. I don't like the Tristars. I don't like the Rock Islands. I don't like the bottom of the barrel Typhoons because all three of those are basically the same plastic piece of shit, in my honest opinion. Construction is not that good. The Panzer, for the price, you get a good arm light feel, look, it's great. Uh, when it comes to the JTS AR-12, it's got good construction. It's really, really heavy, but I'm not a fan of that one either. But it's not bad. Uh, it's just those plasticky ones, and they're overpriced. Like right now, they're like $900 when they used to be about five, 600 bucks. So if you're getting an AR-12, be picky. Look for the Panzer. You'll Thank me later. It's a good, good weapon. And <clears throat> the one thing I will say before I end this video is this is just a very cheap site. Now, Mod Max makes a video where he says the site needs to be here, to be zero, because of course, you know, popping this off it just flops around. So you won't get perfect zero when you use it, but it's a shotgun. All I want is just a circle. That's really all I need. Uh, the front sight right here, it's just because it's an, it's an AK-47 platform. That's all it is. But I really, really, really like this. Uh, so if you want to get a muzzle brake like this, like I said, I found it at Cabela's. If you want this rear sling single point piece right here, and you can actually make it to the front if you have that clamp, hit up Mod Max for one of these. If you want one of these pieces to fit the Pro Mag 12 gauge drum, which fits two and three quarter, not three inch, just two and three quarter. And if you want this piece right here, this Tommy Gun grip, you gotta hit up on Facebook, Ultra FX Studios. So really, that's it. I really, really enjoy having this. It's a lot of fun. You can go out, you know, out the country and go shoot. You can go on the range. If, you, if you're changing out the doors in your house, and you have the drum. Fill it up full of buckshot and just saw that some bitch in half. Have fun with it. That's that's really all it is. It's just a fun weapon. And remember, if you have this, don't feed it garbage ammo. I know some people have had luck with this, and I just absolutely hate this crap. These Winchester Super X's, they are no good for anything. So that's all I got. Like I said, when it comes to future videos, I will do some more of this kind of stuff, and also I will go over more of the prop stuff when it comes to Evil Dead and Ash vs. Evil Dead. I will go over the details of the revamped Ultra FX Studios Ash vs. Evil Dead glove that I got, uh, some more stuff with chainsaws and whatnot. So until next time, you guys stay groovy. One last thing real quick before I let you go is if you have a gun or a weapon or, or anything like that, be responsible with it. Don't be stupid. Learn everything about it before you go shooting with it. And when I mentioned saw your door in half with buckshot, take the door out in the country or out in the range or wherever you can do that. Don't do it in your house because that's just dumb. So, there you go. See you next time.